other endangered animals are getting help from wildlife authorities in Kenya, VOA's Rashmi Shukla has that story. Last year's drought killed most of the plant-eating animals of Ambusili National Park, forcing the park's starving carnivores to hunt the livestock of the nearby Maasai herdsmen. The herders also lost many of their animals during the dry spell, and some of them are now killing lions in an effort to protect their herds. Maasai herdsman Daniel Olkokhola recalls how he saved his cattle from a recent attack by a lion. The cows were here and the lions were there. It was about to jump on the cows, but we helped the cows escape. It was by sheer luck that we managed to rescue them. The lions have given us a lot of trouble, but we haven't lost any cows yet. But we haven't slept in a while either. The Kenya Wildlife Service is moving thousands of zebras and wild beasts from Kenya's Soesambu Conservancy to the Ambusili National Park, more than 300 kilometers to the south. George Nagwala is senior warden of the park. We lost a big number of zebras and wildebeests, and therefore it's a management decision to restock this population. Because you find that uh, the carnivores that were left in the park are now forced to look for alternative sources of food. And this has uh, caused a lot of uh, human wildlife conflict among us, the lions and the, the communities residing nearby the park. Zebras stampede as the helicopter buzzes overhead, herding them into a trap and the awaiting trucks. Kenya Wildlife Service's senior scientist, Dr. Charles Musioki, says the move will help restock the Ambosili Park, but will not adversely affect the animal population in Soesambu. This exercise then is aimed at moving to Amboseli about 4,000 zebras and 3,000 wild beasts. So we are capturing the zebras from Naivasha here in Soisambu because they have a very healthy population of zebras, about 3,000. And so if we moved 1,000 from here, it would not affect the remaining population of zebras. Kenya Wildlife Service officials say the zebras being brought to Ambusili will offer the lions enough food within the park so the lions do not need to hunt outside the park's borders. Rashmi Shukla, VOA News. And for more information on these stories, please go to voaafrica.com.